in this question here perimeter of sector BOC is equals to 2R plus L1 since R is 10 and L1 is theta times R so the result is 20 plus 10 times theta similarly perimeter for sector AOC is two times R plus L2 that is two times ten plus L2 is theta times R and here theta is pi minus theta pi minus theta times R that is 20 plus pi minus theta by 10 so total perimeter of AOC a perimeter of AOC sector AOC is 20 plus 10 pi minus 10 theta now the condition is given the perimeter of sector AOC is twice the perimeter of sector BOC so 20 plus 10 theta equals to 20 plus 10 pi 2 times 20 plus 10 theta equals to 20 plus 10 pi minus 10 theta simplifying this we can get the value of theta as theta equal uh, 30 theta equals to 10 pi minus 20 which gives theta equals to 10 pi minus 2 by 3 that means pi minus 2 by 3 which is to be shown in the question which is asked in the part a of the question now let us begin the part b of the question in the part b of the question you are asked to find the perimeter of triangle ABC. So here in triangle BOC, uh, using cosine rule. Cosine rule is the rule in triangle ABC. A square is equals to B square plus C square minus two BC cos A. So length of BC, length of BC is equals to length of BC is equals to ten square, ten, ten square. Okay. Uh, plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 plus cos theta and the value of theta is uh, from part a that we have what we have got is pi minus 2 by 3 so the total length of bc is 200 minus 200 cos pi minus 2 by 3 and that uh, simplifying that we can get length of BC length of BC that is 3.78239 also for length of AC for length of AC we can use Pythagoras is AC is equals to square root of AC is equals to square root of AB square minus BC square so that is AB square is 20 square and minus BC square is 3.78239 square which gives you result 19.63908 therefore perimeter of the triangle ABC 3.78239 plus 19.63908 plus 20 that gives you 43.4 centimeter in three significant figure.